Here's a quick tutorial of how to use the House of Strategy developed by Wellmeadow. The basic front page here shows a triangle where we list the company name and vision and then underneath it we put the goals and projects and I'll show you in a moment where the action plans come in. So to start with we put the company name in so if we click on there it will ask us in a little prompt for our company name and now we can put however you want and then similarly vision take a put whatever you want in there and it'll enter them in so we may well to break this overall vision then into several strategic goals so these don't necessarily have to be strict smart objectives the way that uh, a more conventional objective would be so it might be to for example um, increase market share um, attract the best employees, that sort of thing. And uh, we might have, uh, let's just put on a couple in here just to show you how it works. And if you need more than four, just click the gold plus one up here and you get more. And if you need fewer, just shrink it back down again. The idea under each goal then is that you think of a number of strategic projects. Uh, it doesn't have to be limited to just one or two. You can go down the page to however many you want, as you can see there. And the, once again, these don't have to be uh, objectives. These are the key chunks of activity that you're going to do to be able to realize the goal. And ideally, there should be a full and complete set such that when you've completed all these projects, you achieve the goal. But that's quite often hard to do. So just set out with that as an ambition and see how close you get. So for now, then to increase market share, we may well have to have um, develop a new product to beat the competitors, something like that. That's a project, and we may have another project in here to um, source components, 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 um, cheaply, something like that. Uh, and maybe we do, we have a marketing led one where we um, increase SEO ranking to top 10, something like that. Okay, and then you put some more over here and so on. So, a project. Um, you could call that B1 if you like, if you take the sort of battleships approach or Excel approach and so on. Now, the idea of the action plans behind it uh, is accessed by double clicking on any one of these. So, if uh, I want to double click on that one, it'll take me to the tracking sheet, which, as you can see down here, is just the second page. And it tells me that I don't have any actions for this project yet and asks me, would I like to have one? So, if I go yes, it will put in the name of the project and invite me to type in an action. So, uh, right. So blog articles, that's always a good start for getting SEO. I need a name, so I give it to me, starting, now it gives me a choice of a date here, and you choose the first of the month relating to it. So I'm going to go for 1st of November 2015, and this is an activity lasting three months. And there you go, I've got a three month box over there. Now if I want another action, rather than just writing below, while you've got the cursor in this area, click add a new row, and it will copy all formally down on the dates and this bit on the left and just give me the chance to write a new action. So over here, I might try to um, check the keyword richness of the website. And I'm going to do that as well, but I'm going to do that later. So I'm going to do that um, in December, and that's just a one month activity. There we go, so we've got these over here. Now, as you go through and achieve these uh, activities against the project you can give an update so the black month up here shows you which month we're in that's automatic and so it's inviting me really to say well how far have I got I should have started it this month so if you click on this button and click the drop down it gives you the option of some small circles which I know are difficult to see on the small screen but when you've clicked on it it goes big so there you go it shows me now that I'm already a quarter down 25% down on that task now the point of it is that as that prog project progresses if I don't make any progress and I keep it at 25%, then it's graying them out. It shows me that I'm not making any progress at all. And in fact, after the three month period, I might then start making some progress and it may be all of a sudden finished. So this is effectively telling me I started just on time. I didn't make any progress for three months and then I had a quick catch up and it took me two months after the original due date before something was finished. And you can just delete all of those if you like. Now, if at any point you want to get a summary of what's going on, you can use these buttons up here. So I can show all of the actions by clicking this show all uh, with no breaks, or I can even have one project per page. If I click that one, it'll put a page break in between each. 
But I can also summarize the actions by who's responsible for them and include all the actions. And it'll then take me to this action summary page where it gives me a summary showing that these are my two actions. And if there were other people, it would list those and give me a count on those as well. And then I could even send out emails to all those people with outstanding actions. You'll send an email, you'll copy it to somebody if we want. And then that will create an email for me in my email inbox or outbox. There we go. Send it to that person, copy this person, and there's a quick snapshot of the action that it's asking for an update on. And it will only include those actions where I should have made a start. So that's the one here which should have started in November. It invites me to reply. I'm not going to send that. I'll just click cancel. Okay, so that's a quick summary. If you need to put the email addresses in, by the way, to send those, then you put those on the emails page there. And go back to the home page. Okay, so that's a very quick summary of how the House of Strategy works. I hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions, then please contact Dave Parry or Yevgeny Romanov at Wellmodo. Um, I think you probably know our contact details. Thanks.